Hi there. This is a, a video demo from an author's point of view of how to log in and edit or remove your existing books. So I'm in an anonymous window here. Um, I've not yet logged in. This is the home page. I'm going to the author's submit a book section. So because I'm not logged in, I can see the instructions, but it's got this, you know, make sure you log in first little prompt. So I'm going to be in author mode, which is my non-admin account. So I spelled it correctly. And I'm going to paste my password here. Hit the little login button. And now I would be able to add another book if I wanted to. But it turns out what I want to do right now is I want to edit stuff. So this is what the uh, standard author uh, interface looks like. What you want to do here is take a look at all of the posts. And the posts that you're going to see here are specifically yours. You will see anything that you are listed as the author of and anything you have permission to edit. So I am in here. Uh, let's say I decided I don't want Sleeping Beauty to become available anymore. Like in an ideal world, I would prefer that you not just throw them away so that we still have the record of the previous things that they were in. Um, but, you know, if that's what you need to do, that's what you need to do, I understand. But let me show you another way to do it. Say, you thought you were going to be listing this in July, but something went sideways. And so you can only actually list it uh, when it gets to October. So to make it not listed in July, um, where Where is the section? Primary category. Okay. That's the primary category. Where is the section that gives us the dates here? Well, I guess I'm just going to search for July. Yes, sales. I'm going to not put it in that. I'm going to put it in October instead. And so that means that it has been removed from the July listing and will be available in the October listing. So uh, I clicked in the wrong spot there, but in case this happens to you, and like all of a sudden all you see over here is the word classic, that's because block is what got activated. It thinks that we're editing the text now. To get back to where you were changing the categories, click this post button. Yoast CEO can just get out of our business. And I'm scrolling here. And now we can see in the scroll list that is listed in the October sale, not in the July one. So I'm going to go back up to the top, make sure it's still listed as private so that it doesn't display to the world. And I hit update. And so that's how you remove your entry from one sale and add it to the next one. Um, again, you can see all of this while you're logged in. If you are not logged in, this would not be visible unless it was one of the sale dates. I will stop this recording and uh, see you in a minute.